Hello there guys, Billabo10000 here, bringing you episode 12 of Minecraft Survival, Retro Survival. We are here on my farmland, that I need to turn down the volume, volume is very loud for me, but we are here on my farmland, uh, farming up some wheat, because I did a lot of work off camera. I did a lot of strip mining, and I found three diamonds. Only three. It was not a successful strip mine in that sense, but I got a lot of cobblestone. I got a lot of everything else aside from lapis and diamonds, and I ended up doing a lot of exploring in our in our base cave system to the point where I think we have officially, uh, we've officially milked our cave system dry. I don't think there's anything else we can do in the, uh, the cave system that we have at the moment, so we're probably gonna need to go to a fresh cave system in the future. But today, we're not doing any of that. After I have replanted all of my crops, we are going to be making ourselves a brewing table, a brewing stand, because I would like to brew some potions. I would like to get some fire resistance, and I know how to brew fire resistance now. So let's head back inside. All of our sugarcane has grown. I just haven't really, uh, haven't really broken any of it yet. Uh, pop that back in food and farm. Make ourselves a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of bread. I'm just going to use all my wheat. The wheat in the farm is going to grow back before, like, the end of the video, pretty much. So we are really not hurting for food in the slightest. Uh, so what we're going to be doing, I have a cobblestone chest here, we have our nether chest here. Uh, I looked up how to actually uh, craft a table, like a, a, a like like a like a, a table thing. Also, my strip mine goes down there and we're never using it again. Uh, I need cobblestone, which is in here. I'm an idiot. So I tried to craft the brewing stand with iron down here, but it actually was just meant to be cobblestone and that's how you make a brewing stand. Lamau, mistakes were made, haha. <laughs> that being said, there's no real place to kind of put my brewing stand at the moment. So what I'm thinking is I'm just gonna put some cobblestone down here and I'm gonna put the brewing stand here. Uh, and I'm actually gonna, I'm actually gonna grab my damn pickaxe, which has been heavily used since the last time you guys saw me. And I'm gonna put a cauldron down here. I wanna make a cauldron because I would like to have some water just ready and willing for the, uh, for the, for the brewing stand. So we're gonna pop a little cauldron there. And then I'm gonna pop my iron away. We're gonna get a bucket. We're gonna fill it with water straight from our infinite water source, also known as the ocean. And we'll just pop that in there, perfect. And then we pop that back in there, and then I just need to make myself some bottles, some glass bottles. I'm assuming I can just make them from glass. I didn't actually look up how to make them. Yeah, okay, good. Uh, so I'm actually gonna make a couple of these. I'm gonna make, I don't know, I I'd say we'll make 12, and then we'll just kind of store them in the, the, the nether box here. Like, we'll use this both as our nether box and our box for, uh, like, potion making. So let's just fill these up, pop them in. You have to click them in like this, which is very slow. So we want to make ourselves a fire resistance potion, and to do that, first, of course, we're going to need to use our nether wart, because we're going to need to uh, pop our nether wart in there. Um, I'm also going to, while that's brewing, because we need to make some awkward potions first, and to do that, we need to, well, do that. While that's going on, I'm actually going to... Where do I want to brew... Not there. Where do I want to put my soul sand? Maybe we can have the soul sand actually kind of growing uh, nether wart around where the nether portal is. That would make a lot of sense, I think, actually. Like, we can just have, like, a diamond of soul sand that just goes around our nether portal. And we could just put the, the nether wart uh, on there and it will grow. Because I think nether wart can grow regardless of the light level. I think it just has to be on soul sand as far as I'm aware. So yeah, we'll kind of have that going. We're gonna have a nice little kind of a uh, 
nether warp farm going on there. Pop the rest of that back in there. So as you can see, we now have some awkward potions. If we add a magma cream, we'll create fire resistance. And I believe if we add it, it's either glowstone or redstone. I think it's redstone. We will increase the length of the fire resistance. And that is how we are going to make ourselves some fire resistance potions that we can use to take on some blazes in the nether. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna pop that redstone in. We've got fire resistance at three minutes, but once this goes in, it's gonna be fire resistance for eight minutes, and we're basically going to be invulnerable. We're not gonna be killable uh, through lava, which is fabulous. I'm gonna pop those blaze rods back in there. Obviously, you can use blaze powder, you can use gas tears, you can use a lot of nether items for, uh, for nether stuff. Uh, I'm not going to be doing that at the moment, though. For now, I want to play it safe. Uh, I'm going to take my diamond pickaxe. I'm going to take an iron pickaxe. And I'm only going to take one of these for now. Local brewery, let's go. Achievement get. Uh, I'm only going to take one fire resistance with me for the moment, just because we're not going to be recording for long enough that we're going to need multiple. Like, we're probably only going to have enough time this episode to do one pass of in the nether. So what I will do, I will, I'll take my iron pickaxe and use that. I'd like to keep my diamond pickaxe safe. Maybe we can combine it with a new diamond pickaxe at some point. I also need to make an enchantment table. That is something I would like to get done at some point, but that's probably not going to be something I do today. That might be something that we focus on after we've gotten some of our blaze powders. Now we've got a lot of coal. We've got a lot of iron. Uh, a lot of stuff that we could be smelting if we really want to, but uh, I am not going to. I'm just going to make a bunch of coal here. Look at that. More than enough coal to uh, to keep us going. So I'm going to pop... I'll pop two stacks away. I'll pop the rest of the coal back in here. And I think this is honestly all we're going to need. I'm going to switch the, uh, the food to half just in case we do die. And I think we should head on back to the nether and see if we can get ourselves some blaze rods. Now, I don't know exactly how many blaze rods I'm gonna want, but I know I'm gonna want a few. So my goal, if, if we can call it a goal, is to maybe get around, I would say 20 to 30. Now that's a lot. Like that, that is a lot, of, a lot of blaze rods. Is this the right way? This is not the right way, no. This is a completely different path. But I think this actually links up to, uh, yeah, it links up to here. Huh. Okay, that's interesting. I will just, I'll, I'll make a pathway going down from here then. That's, that's infinitely easier than whatever the hell I had set up for this area beforehand. Perfect. Uh, then I will mark this with a torch so that we know it is there. Uh, and then we just go around here and... There we go. We're back at the nether fortress. So I'm not going to bother chugging my fire resistance until I actually get to where the blaze spawner is. I do remember seeing it last episode, so we're going to definitely take a look at that. I also just want to say thank you to anyone who is watching this series at the moment on YouTube. I've actually, uh, I'm recording this on the 3rd of March, not the 3rd of March, the 16th of March, uh, which is obviously incredibly early in in the the lifespan of the of the series because you guys aren't even seeing episode one at, at, at the time of me recording this and that's just because i need to this is the wrong way i need to uh get a good backlog of this series recorded that way i can i can keep up with it and we're uploading it every two three days and i'm i'm very happy with uh with how this series has gone on my end just kind of producing it for you guys and i'm hoping that by the time this episode's going out, like, I hear that you guys are enjoying it because it's been a lot of fun for me. Um, so yeah, you know, I don't really have any feedback from you guys. I'm kind of just going with, with what I'm going with. Uh, okay, so I know that the, the Blaze Spawner is just around here, so I'm actually going to drink my potion now. I think it's in here, right? Yep, here we are. And I would like the blazes to uh to spawn and hopefully hopefully they will spawn good things will happen i think we're on the right mode run run uh run normal mode yep i i heard a fire let me just let me just double check 
yeah, we're on normal, so they should definitely be spawning. We just gotta wait for him to pop up. There we go. Hello. Hi. So yeah, they can they can hurt me, but they can't uh they can't do anything more than that. Oh, that's a shame. No uh no blaze rods just yet. Okay. So at this point, the the goal is literally just going to be chilling here uh, until we get ourselves. A blaze rod, pretty much. A blaze rod's pretty much. We haven't got a single blaze rod, and it's already been a minute. Hello. Hi. Yep, your, your attacks don't do shit to me, boy. Your attacks ain't doing anything. That being said, I'm not, I'm not getting any uh, any blaze rods from you guys. Come on. Come on. Come on, give me, give me, give me something to work with here. Give me a... Give me a... a give me something to fight. Come on. Okay, it's speeding up, speeding up. Come on. There we go. Oh, perfect. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Blaze rods? No? Really? Wow. Are they, are they a rare drop then? Did I just get really lucky in getting three blaze rods last time? That's the only thing I can think of because I... That's five blazes I think we've killed so far and not a single blaze rod just yet. Which is a bit of an oof moment, if I do say so myself. Uh, and there's no blazes around there, none around there. Some are about to spawn. Come on. I've got myself six minutes. There we go. Got a blaze rod. Thank goodness. Thank the Lord. So why do I need blaze rods? For those of you who have never maybe played Minecraft before, you're wondering, why is this guy collecting blaze rods? Well, they can be used in two different ways, and both ways involve turning them into blaze powder. You see, you can make eyes of ender with blaze powder and an ender pearl, and if you do that, you can use eyes of enders to help you find the stronghold in your world, which will allow you to go to the end. And the end is obviously where the Ender Dragon is. It is uh, considered to be the final boss of Minecraft. You know, it's a very important event, and it is the the final thing we will be doing in this retro survival let's play, uh, at least for season one. And the other thing you can do is you can make uh, potions. You can make potions using end rods. Oh, not end rods, sorry, uh, blaze rods. Okay, we've got three now. Fabulous. And you can make, uh, you can make, I believe it's strength potions with blaze powder. I don't remember for sure. And of course, if you ever wanted to make more than one brewing stand, because honestly, just having one brewing stand isn't exactly, uh, cost effective when you're kind of, like, bulk producing potions. Especially if you're going to be going up against, like, uh, the, the ender dragon. You might want, like, some potions of strength. You want the best possible chance at uh, defeating the dragon. Honestly, I might stick around here even when the fire resistance runs out. If only because these guys aren't terribly strong. Like, I think that the most danger I have comes from them touching me with contact damage. In terms of their fireballs, they don't really do much. And I feel like as long as I'm somewhat careful, I can kind of avoid that entirely. Like, as long as I'm just standing here or something. There we go. Nice. Five blaze rods. I do know that it is possible to create, like, a blaze spawner, like, in the nether, and that might be something I might look into, you know? I don't really, um, have much experience creating mob spawners, like, in terms of, like, um, uh, mob grinders at all, but I would be interested to see how, like, a, a blaze mob spawner, mob grinder would work. So maybe that's something we could look into. For the, for the next time. Maybe I'll like uh, get some materials ready and we can actually just have that be uh, a plan. God, these guys, they do very high contact damage. I'm gonna just step back a little bit. Three more minutes, three more minutes. We've got eight, eight blaze rods right now, which is really good. I'm happy about that. Gonna pop you over there. Obviously I've got my bow in case things get a bit dicey, in case I really do need to take out the trash so to speak. Go on. Go on. Spawn. You know you want to. Uh, 
but yeah, I'm doing good. I hope you guys are doing good as well. Um, life is getting a little bit interesting at the moment. Uh, I mentioned earlier that I am recording a lot of these series, like uh, a lot of these videos in advance. And my main reason for that is obviously I have been unemployed since I left school when I was 18 and I'm now 23 years old. Um, Asperger's syndrome is very fun, makes the social aspect of dealing with people incredibly difficult, you know, think of anxiety and then beef it up to 11. And that's how I kind of get in social situations. But I am making it a goal this year to try and actually like break through that and try and find some employment because not only uh, do I want to kind of just live my life a little bit, especially after COVID, but I have uh, I have a partner that I would love to move in with, um, and he happens to live halfway across the country. And I am hoping that by maybe putting my videos on the back burner and just recording some in advance, it will give me the time to both kind of uh, get a job that can help pay the bills and can help uh, further me as a person, uh, but can also uh, allow me to keep making YouTube videos for you guys, because YouTube has become a very integral part of my life in a weird way, because I've been doing it for so long. Like, I've been doing it for over eight years now. I don't know if I did an eight-year celebration video or not yet. I haven't really decided at this moment in time whether I would have posted one or not. So if I did post one, hey, you can go check it out. If not, that's totally cool. But uh, I feel like I, I enjoy making videos and I enjoy being on this platform enough that I don't want to kind of just like say, okay, that's it, bye. I want to keep making videos for you guys, and I want to keep making videos that I enjoy, and I really feel like I've hit, like, a good stride recently. Like, I've really, really enjoyed the videos I've been making since the start of 2021. Like, I've been doing a one big video a week, and then a bunch of smaller videos, and I'm really proud of those big videos. Like, they just work, and I'm, I'm proud of the... Of, of, of what I've put into them. Okay, we've got maybe one more set of spawns, and then that's probably gonna be it. We're gonna wanna maybe retreat. Go on, spawn before my fire resistance runs out, please, for the love of God. Yeah, thank you. All right, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to leave it at 11. Uh, I'm gonna pop some torches around the spawner, just so that it is permanently uh, captured, so to speak. Oh. Hello. Just wanted to take that uh, gas tier. There we go. I need that. I need a gas tier. Gas tier is very useful because you can use them for potions. Just want to see if there's anything over here. There is not. Okay. Uh, I'm guessing that blaze spawner probably is the only... Oh, okay. That gas uh, had a moment. I'm guessing that blaze spawner is probably the only one of its kind uh, in this stronghold. Just in this entire area. So, I will leave it be. Like, I don't think there's anything up here. I'll take a look, though. I'm curious. But I think up here is completely safe, yeah. Like, there's just a path that kind of leads to, like, another bit of the stronghold. Oh, I think that's another blaze spawner over there, actually. Okay, so there are two blaze spawners. We can go for that one there, which is the one we've kind of got. And we can also uh, go for that one over there. Uh, whichever one maybe is better for creating a, a, a mob grinder for, for blazes, we will, uh, we will think about it. Oh no! I think my dog just barked right as the gas appeared, and I think my dog actually just, like, saved my life. I think my dog just, like, was clairvoyant and was able to, like, figure out, Billy, a gas is coming, you need to move, you must be careful. And that's kind of amazing. My dog's kind of amazing. Okay, I'm just gonna run. If the gas does know I'm here, it's probably not going to succeed in killing me just yet. Okay, oh wow, my, my hunger has depleted heavily. Okay, but we've got a good healthy amount of blaze rods, which I'm very happy about. That's kind of what I wanted from this excursion. So in the next episode, I think what we'll do is maybe I will get some obsidian and we will consider getting that enchantment table ready. That's like, one of the big things I want to get set up. Um, I, I do actually, you know what, before we even think of like starting up the enchantment table, I actually do want to, I want to make like a room for the enchantment table. And I've got like kind of an idea 
uh, based on a uh, on an image I saw on Google the other day that I would like to try and pull off. So maybe that will be something I'll I'll start preparing for for next episode, and maybe we could do that. Uh, I can't tell if the nether wart's growing at all. I don't know if like this actually is how you grow nether wart or not, but we will see. Uh, that being said, I'm gonna pop down all of these blaze rods. We now have 13. Love that. Gas tier as well. Fabulous. Uh, bottle. Cool. Um, we've got some fire resistance, which I'll just pop in there. Uh, and I'll pop three more of those in there. And then we will call it there. So thank you everyone for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, be sure to check out the previous episodes in this series if you haven't already, or you can check out my weekly videos where I take uh, big topics and script them, and it's a, a lot of fun. Uh, so thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.